While Germany's intel chief claimed Russia is trying to destabilize the country, you might have missed the passing of an American hero, how light can help our most vulnerable adults, and dino news. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, for those of you still trying to accept the idea that dinosaurs had feathers rather than scales, clearly I'm talking about myself, got a big serving of, oh here you go, proof this week. This is a dino feather tail preserved in amber because Jurassic Park foretold everything. This fossilized tree sand, which we call amber, waited for millions of years with the mosquito inside. Scientists also found the oldest fossilized dino tumor this week, so wins all around. Age-related dementia or Alzheimer's disease kills one in three people, and if that were bad enough, treatment for it is the single greatest cost in our healthcare system. What a joy. But MIT was able to show that light therapy can disrupt the disease in the brains of mice. That's because researchers first pinpointed that Alzheimer's disrupts brain signaling and light stimulates the immune system to clean up the brain, but most especially if light is pulsed just so. It even helped decrease brain plaque in older mice when done for a few days in a row. Not to be confused with triggering strokes. Until these tests are done properly in humans, I guess take your relatives to a rave? <laughs> Okay, American hero John Glenn passed away this week and an astronaut of this space cowboy caliber deserves a proper farewell. He was one of seven men in the Mercury program and made history in 1962 as the first American to ever orbit the Earth. Furthering his own badassery, he traveled back into space as part of a discovery mission when he was 77 and still a sitting U.S. Senator. That makes him both the oldest person to go into space and the only person to ever be part of both the Mercury and Space Shuttle missions. Godspeed, sir. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Turns out the NSA and British government have been spying on people's in-flight phone calls since 2005. BMW helped nab a car thief by remotely locking him in the vehicle until police could arrive. Fitbit bought Pebble this week, freaking out devoted Pebble users. And Airdates released their app for in-flight flirting. No one believes they mean just flirting. 